at least September. Middle, middle or end September. So another new Midway player. And Minister Hindenburg, Wooster. We got Snow! Hey! Snow's in our team! Oh, watch this die miserably because something goes terribly wrong with no destroyers. Yeah, I could get like bigger socks on. Uh... <laughs> um, if the BB stay together, it's okay. Uh, I can AP bomb the Zhao if he goes alone with some by himself. The rest is all going to be torpedo bomber work. I really don't want them to go to sea unless they have like really good AA. I don't want you to go to sea. I want I what I want to do is go there to here. And shoot anything at sea that I out oh, right. That's that's the ideal scenario here. Go that way, shoot that way, because you'll get a good aim on most things other than this island bit. But you'll get that on the flank, and then you rotate around, and you pressure B. Admiral Tourette. Okay, so it should be good or something. I don't know, but. Shouldn't have done that. I can't help myself. <laughs> this is a bit salty of me. Oh, nice of you to turn just to make the lineup perfect. What? Oh, way to, way to go, me. Press the T button instead of the G button. Durr. Bat fingers. Fat fingers bleh, 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 on the keyboard, right? I might suicide the TBs just to guarantee the kill on the Zhao. Because I'd have to go onto the Minotaur's AA bubble. Ooh, hello. enough. It was a suicide mission. They knew that when they went. Oh, crap, 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 crap!
and that needs to be recycled. It'd be nice if I could select the correct plane. The AP bombs I don't care about. Oh, he's getting absolutely ass blasted, <laughs> this Hindenburg, but. That's that's kind of we told them not to push that aggressive. The BBs are too far back. You need to you need to be, you know, calm, methodical, blah blah blah. We have the cap advantage and all that nonsense. You just don't, don't just don't go balls wall in, because as wounded as he is now, AP bombs will actually kill him. That's very dangerous. It's not a surprise. The thing is, if they flank him and push him, uh, AP bombs can be trolley on minotaurs. We'll see how we get on. <clears throat> this is super aggressive positioning of a, of a Wooster. It means if he gets flanked, he gets killed, but otherwise it locks out the enemy CD so freaking hard. It gives us fantastic map presence. <clears throat> nope, let's go this way. I'm a bit far though to be effective. Now, these bombs will either do lots or nothing. It's kind of like a really annoying um, system. I'm just checking the minimap every once in a while to make sure there's nothing coming at me. Pretty Sometimes they do citadels and they do damage, but I don't really have anyone else to AP bomb. I will keep them lit up though with this uh, bomb just for the time being. By the time this guy dies, the Minotaur will be able to spawn. Now the battleships are up close, no one can realistically flank them without exposing themselves, so again, it's good. Well, if he goes around the corner, I'll see him, but it's not really a... A beat up, is he? No, not very. It could be dangerous for this guy. I mean, he might mess up. Let's see who's firing on this guy, because he's firing obviously over the island. Only threat is that Minotaur, but I think he's going to die to Torps or our own Minotaur, so I'm going to keep my TVs and maybe go for the lone Montana. Maybe. He's going to get wrecked, because he's, he's stuck, he can't turn. Okay, everyone here is safe due to the booster, so I don't need to protect them, which means I can give a full escort to the torpedo bombers and go after the Montana. <clears throat> and I can even sacrifice planes if I want to.
I don't need to be this aggressive, I just I can afford to be because we have such an advantage. Oh, that's annoying. I messed that up pretty badly. No matter. Mixture of passive, a mixture of not knowing exactly where the planes are and the drop. And blah. Does not really matter. I don't need to stay inside his AI either, I just give him free plane kills. What I should have done is I was following them, but the passive AA of the Montana was killing the torpedo bomber. So I was like, all right, I need to turn around. And when I turn around, obviously that's what he was waiting for. And then he strafes them, and you're like, oh, okay, fair game. I'll go this way. Oh wait, your strafe's gonna catch them anyway. Blah blah blah. And I was like, oh, fine. AP bombing either the Montana or the Yamato is pretty pathetic. So there's nothing really gonna come out of it. It'll be like 19k or less. Anything more than like 20k is going to be considered a good bomb drop. Nah, 12k, it's pretty bad. He can't afford to fly around, which means he has to commit. Which means I get an easy strafe. There's too much passive A, he'll lose too many planes if he tries to be fancy and dodge and all that type of stuff. <laughs> I'm surprised his captain is a scum. Um. He knows all about reverse strafing and turns around, so he just doesn't have your supremacy. I don't want to approach from the front and then turn around, I'm going to go around. It's going to take longer, but it's going to be a cleaner drop. Probably overkill, but I just want to guarantee the kill. I could get away with one way. Oh, what a waste! Oh well, kill secured. It's fine. Am I happy with my sad face? It's my Harold face. I don't know if that was good or not.
It must really suck to be this. No, it's a thousand points. Because our Wooster knew exactly what he was doing and he was working in close concert with me. So, I mean, that's basically a division in randoms. I'll go to this island, I'll completely lock him out, it'll be blah blah blah, good and bad. Pretty tough. So, my base there was 2000. Okay. Not bad. Um, great. Only 38,000 base experience to go.